Now, obviously, The Walking Dead and Star Wars are two separate things, but in Star Wars Legends, things even scarier than your average run-of-the-mill zombie can occur, such as hive minds and zombies that can adapt. Today, I'm going to be talking about Project Blackwing, aka the Blackwing Virus, aka the Sickness. The Blackwing Virus has, was a bioweapon created by technicians in the Galactic Empire's Advanced Weapon Research Team. In a secret facility located on Dandaron, the scientists were trying to develop an agent to revive necrotic tissue. The lab was originally a Sith alchemy lab and shrouded by the dark side. The virus was originally produced to grant the infected immortality, but the experiment ultimately failed and resulted in a virus that attacked the biological tissue of its host and turned them into a cannibalistic zombie. The virus had altered the strength, speed, and stamina of those infected, making them a little slower, but making them resistant to devastating if not fatal blows. It also changed the texture of the skin of the host, making it a grayish green color. Not only did this virus turn the infected into zombies, but it also acted as a hive mind, meaning all of those infected acted according to one thought and had synced minds. A hive mind is one thing, but this hive mind was able to learn things from many survivors like using blasters and piloting starships. These undead beings were not only getting smarter and smarter, but they basically had extremely increased strength and somewhat became a species of their own in my opinion. The researchers and stormtroopers had been in the Outer Rim territories on a Star Destroyer developing an airborne version when some of it got loose after the mishandling of the tanks. This all happened sometime between the Battle of Yavin and the Battle of Hoth. Most of the ship had gotten infected, but they were able to quarantine those who were infected by sealing blast doors. Now most of the stormtroopers were actually still in the dark about this and continued training as usual. But when the airborne virus started to seep through the blast doors, the doctors were faced with another problem. Struggling with time, an antivirus was eventually developed, but it could not save those who were already dead. After many died, some of the doctors tried to escape on an Imperial shuttle when their acceleration stopped. They were all of a sudden moving backwards, and had come to realize the worst. The hive mind had learned how to use the tractor beam. Once back on the Star Destroyer, they had successfully defended against the zombies, but their numbers whittled down to just seven. The zombies had used the tractor beam to bring in many ships and had eventually brought in a prisoner ship. With only one human female left on the Star Destroyer, she just tried to give them the antidote but was unsuccessful. Eventually, however, she had ventured into the private sector of the ship that had its own airflow. In this descent detention center, there were only two prisoners, a human male and a Wookiee. They were both smugglers. The doctor introduced herself and administered the antidote. The Wookiee and the man introduced themselves. It was Han Solo and Chewbacca. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed my explanation. Um, I, if you did, be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps my channel grow. And also down in the comments, be sure to tell me what you guys thought of my reasoning and my storytelling. And also what you guys want to see next. Lastly, as always, may the force be with you all. Until next time. Oh!